some really good gills out here. Alright, welcome back everybody. Uh, yeah, slept in the back of the truck again. Uh, you guys that have been here since the winter know that I've done that all winter long. It is much better when it's warm out because it got warm out yesterday. I felt like I was getting a little bit of sunburn. Um, you don't know anything about me and sunburn. Just go back through my videos, you'll figure it out. Uh, but I was worried about sleeping in there because it's all insulated, so I figured it'd be hot. It got down to like 40 degrees last night, so it was perfect. <laughs> so, I'm actually getting up, putting some food together here. Uh, then I'm going to get out on the lake and I'm going to do some more chasing. Um, obviously my first video really didn't have too much action, well it had action. I had a bunch of bluegills, a bunch of uh, crappie. and my buddy Nick showed up out of nowhere and we had some fun. <laughs> so today's mission is to get on a bunch of different fish. I'm on a lake that's supposed to have big crappie, big bluegill, and possibly big bass. So you guys get might, might get three out of this one. So stay tuned. So like I said, I'm going to be doing uh, some breakfast here on the back of my tailgate real quick before I get out on the lake because I need to eat, always eat before you get out, and uh, something real simple everybody can pick up, and I'm going to see if I can find it. I'll put it in the description if I can. It's one of these little Coleman stoves. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but just it's a really portable little propane stove, and obviously if you can see it, right? there it is a 20 pound tank and it makes life on the road very easy that 20 pound tank if all you're doing was cooking with it and not using it for heat or anything it would last you like all summer so very very highly recommend getting that thing see now that's it's, it's just hard to beat a good egg sandwich in the morning Okay, so I gotta eat this real quick. Uh, hopefully none of these mosquitoes eat me while I'm eating it. Uh, <laughs> what I wanna do today is I'm gonna basically try and get out on this new body of water, which I've never been on, and explain to you guys how I'm gonna go pick it apart. Uh, the easiest thing I can do is just fish it and try and describe how I'm fishing it and why I'm doing what I'm doing in order for you guys to learn how to do exactly the same thing so you can get lost in the woods like me and go catch some fish. So, obviously, if you're seeing this, we got on some fish.
that male. Look at that fish. Colors here, amazing. There's a fat female to go with that male. Some really good gills out here. There we go, now we're on the right path. Look at the colors on these guys. I can't wait to catch a 12. Yeah, a fat female. That is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, everybody. I hope everybody's enjoying what I've found so far. I mean, it's just a couple of decent gills. I think those were a couple of eight and a halfs, but they looked really cool. I love when the males are in the full spawning colors and they just look tropical. Uh, it's amazing what you can find in the Northwoods. But I don't know if you can see it right there is a little uh, like canal looking thing and I'm debating on going down it. Maybe I'll find something cool back there. So, uh, so stick around, let's go exploring. So that was a tight fit. Hopefully you guys can get that conveyed to you through the GoPro because that was really tight. But I gotta show you some. You come out of that hole. And there's like a little pond lake back here. Sounds like there's fish jumping too. So let's get some.
That's a crappie. That's a decent crappie. Look at that, first crappie of the day. They look good too, so if there's big ones in here, I'll find them. Is that a good copy? That's what it is. These guys are thick up here. About the same size as the last one. Still full of spawn. Another crappie, a little bit smaller. Ooh. Okay, that's enough of that. In the back. That feels something good. What is that? That's another crappie. Man, this thing is a tank. Got some stuff on them or whatever, but. Yeah, if I get a 12 or something bigger, I'm gonna have to weigh it. Apparently there's a school of crappie underneath those lily pads. Any big ones in there? That's a big gill. A really big gill. <laughs> I was not expecting that after all those crappies came out of there. So I finally caught one of the bigger ones up north here. Let's see how big it is though. Something like eight and a quarter. Maybe eight and a half. But they're built right. And they're young. That's what counts. All right, buddy. Thanks for playing. Hey, hey, hey. What do I got now? Another gill? I can't tell what it is. It's, it's a gill. It's a big gill. Oh my god, it's a gill I can weigh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, look at that male. I got my hump head. <laughs> oh, god. That's awesome. Look at his ear tab. That is a monster. It is a nine inch guild that I kind of want to weigh because he's 
thick. It's a big male. He's definitely going back. Give me a second. 10 ounces. This bull is 10 ounces. And that means only one thing when they're bulls. They go back. It's really not that hard, people. Get another one. <laughs> Just a colorful guy. Still another male. He's got that right head though. This guy is big like the other ones. another one this is a gill look at these fish I think this is a big fat female though oh god yeah and she's gonna weigh a lot yeah that's a female this egg still That's just these nine inches also. But this one might actually go a pound because of the eggs. Let's check it out. Oh, ten ounces. So apparently the nine inch gill. Well, this actually might be a male. It's getting darker as I hold it here. Yeah. Gill. I'm back again. Yeah, it was worth it. It was worth sleeping in the truck last night. I mean, it wasn't even that bad because of the weather, because it got cold enough and it wasn't hot and muggy. But when you catch 9-inch gills, and I mean, it was 12 ounces on the dot, but it fluctuated on the scale, so it went to 11 ounces. But... I mean, we're getting close to that one pound gill mark, and you guys are gonna see me geek out if I get over a one pound gill, because I haven't been able to measure one since I started using scales. I feel like I've caught them in my younger years, but I haven't seen one in a very, very long time. So let's, let's get some more of those. perch. I was kind of confused there. <laughs> that feels good. Strong, pumped up female.
knew there'd be crappie around these things. Knew it. Hopefully it's not too windy for you guys to hear. Alright, I want to teach everybody something real quick here. If you can see these little uh, little pads in the water, they're like the mini li lily pads. Uh, these are actually in like seven, eight feet of water. I'm just putting my bobber like two and a half feet down here. And that's because I guarantee there's crappies staged into these weeds right now. They're either post-spawn spawn or just getting done with like their spawn. So like close to it right there. But either way, it's probably post. So they're staged in the weeds feeding. So that's just one thing I want you guys to understand that when you're looking for crappies, uh, look for the deeper weeds. Is that a perch? Oh no, the first little bass of the day. Oh, almost didn't make it. It's a big gill. Hard to tell. Oh, it's a gill. Those fat females. All right, guys. So. I'm gonna be here a long time. Uh, I have all day today and possibly all day tomorrow. So with those big gills and crappies for today, I just wanna get you guys to understand one thing and one thing only. When you are fishing in the spring, you can fish deeper. Uh, now it's actually summer right now, so that would be normally your go-to, but uh, it's been so cold in Wisconsin this year that everything's kind of has a late spawn. So if you guys think you're missing fish because they're not there or something like that, um, it's most likely because they are just getting off of their spawn. So when you see this, uh, they're most likely just getting off of their spawn. So look for post spawn areas, uh, deep weed lines, break lines, uh, but not out into the flats, not into the deep water yet, because the water has not warmed up enough to do that. Mind you, you have to get the, <laughs> you have to understand the water temps. So. I hope I helped you guys a little bit today in today's video and uh, obviously you know we're gonna have some I, I, I got one two this is two uh, might have three four five videos I don't know it just depends on how long I hang out in the north woods uh, <laughs> sleeping in my truck so it's kind of unlimited when it comes to that so stay tuned for those videos uh, obviously if you're not new here you know what's up but if you are new here please remember to 